All right, we're back here in the studio, warmed up, uh, hanging out with Jamie Walter here. Uh, but first, I want to give a quick shout out to Mountain Grind Coffee, one of our our uh, key sponsors for our show here. Big thanks to them. That wouldn't happen without them. All right, Jamie Walter, local legend. Uh, <laughs> Pretty tight on the skis, man. So I hear you are the assistant patrol director at Granby Ranch, and you're also a part-time guide with Powder Addiction. Correct. Which, if you want to ski some backcountry with some legit guides, Powder Addiction is incredible. Awesome place. Yeah. It's, it's a snowcat tour. So they take you up uh, near skiing runs on deep powder that no one has touched. Or it seen. is awesome. It's, uh, powder Addiction has almost 3,000 acres of terrain. So believe it or not, it's almost as big as Winter 3, Park. 3,000 acres? Yeah, just, I think it's 2,800 or something. Yeah, almost as big as the resort itself. And a lot of it's above um, treeline? A lot of it is above treeline. You're typically skiing between about 10,000 feet and 12,2. Now, do, doing a job like that part-time is no longer a job. You're shredding deep powder, <laughs> hanging out with tourists. If they're cool, you're having a great time. If they're not that cool, they're gone after the day and we're all good. You know yeah, saying? but it's uh, it's work. It, you, there's, it is fun. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to tell you it's not yeah, fun because yeah, yeah. it's fun. Um, but it can be stressful at we times. We gotta make sure these guys are safe and do it exactly right. that. We wanna, uh, you know, we wanna bring everybody back at the end of the day. We yeah. wanna start and end with the same number of people. That's kind of key with the to, guys. Yeah. you know, we wanna, is, It's not cruising Cramner, man. Back no. country is a different animal, and it's great to go with some knowledgeable folks. That's for sure. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun. It, they great. got a great operation. It's a lot of fun yeah. to work there, and uh, cool deal. Yeah, how long have you been doing that? Uh, well. I started with the company when it was first going and worked there full time for four years. Um, I dropped out of it for two seasons and now I'm back. So nice. I just, I love doing it. So I can't stay away. And you've been around the valley for quite some time. 28 years. 28 years. And so you <laughs> were legendary employee at the Berthood Pass Ski Resort, which is no more. That's correct. Yes. Was that your first gig? When you moved out here? Uh, I worked briefly for Ski Depot Sports, and uh, then I got a job at Berthet Pass that included housing, and it was pretty tough to pass up. Wow. So I lived at the top of the pass in the lodge there. So we want to we wanna touch a little bit on avalanche safety. Yeah. And is it a prerequisite for any employee at Berthet Ski Resort to have avalanche training and stuff? Because... It was not. I mean, okay. not any employee. Uh, certainly, if you were working ski patrol, ski school, yep. anything like that... Um, it was highly desirable. Um, and you're still passing uh, the knowledge on. I think you mentioned you teach a, get it, what was the class you're kind of teaching? Yeah, so there's a, a new program out through the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. It's called Know Before You Go. And it's an avalanche awareness program. It's a 50 minute to one hour presentation that involves a 15 minute video, about a 20, 25 minute slide presentation, and then 10 minutes of question and answer. So is this, is this a true crash course in backcountry safety? Well, I know all I need to know. Definitely not. Okay. Um, okay. It is, no. <laughs> it's a great uh, avalanche awareness talk, and it gives you the tools to know what you need to become a safe backcountry skier, and to learn about what you need to do and what you need to know to be safe in the backcountry and, and go out there and have a good time. Have you ever been involved in an avalanche? I have. Have you really? Yes, I have. Ooh, that's, that's spooky. Um, it is spooky. Yeah. Uh, I have been caught twice, um, never fully buried. Uh, the Jeez, first time. That'll make you pucker. Uh, it's pretty puckering. Yeah. <laughs> um, the first time was at Berthet Pass, actually working ski patrol, doing an avalanche control route. We had uh, put a bunch of explosives on the slope, and I was with two partners. The first partner made some ski cuts, got down to a safe spot. Second partner made some ski cuts, got down to a safe spot. We're feeling pretty good. Every, you know, I mean, we put like four or five explosives out on this slope, and then I made two ski cuts, and the whole thing went. And carried me down the hill, buried me up to just above or just below my armpits. Um, Holy cow. And that's, uh, that's terrifying. It was terrifying, yes. Um, it's time for a new show. And shorts. no one else got hurt. Um, it was just you in it. Just me in it. So nobody uh, got killed. Nobody got killed. Day. No injuries. Uh, you know, the, they laughed at me and took pictures before they bothered to dig me out, since I appeared to be okay. <laughs> but uh, holy cow! Well, on that note, we might take a quick break. I'm gonna go refill my tea here. But uh, wow, what a story! But uh, we're gonna be back in a little bit here, chatting with Jamie Walter uh, a lot more on both avalanches and also just life in the mountains here. He's got a great story. So, All right. Uh, check out the website. CAIC, uh, the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. Click on the Education tab, and under Education, click on Know Before You Go.
There you go. All right, Jamie, we'll be back shortly. Cool. Stick Thank around. you.